everybody welcome back to my channel today we are going to be talking about all things skin so i'm going to be sharing some of my favorite products that i use to prepare the skin before makeup or some of my favorite foundations for achieving that soft luminous complexion and that just looks absolutely flawless and the things you can do to help your glow stay all day especially if you're someone with dry dehydrated or flaky skin so if you guys are interested in watching this then first subscribe to my channel ring the notification bell why haven't you done that already huh huh i'm just kidding but it would be great if you could subscribe and ring the notification bell because that's very encouraging and when you are really really trying so hard to put out more content it's always encouraging to see the numbers go up so subscribe ring the bell if you haven't already but yeah if you're interested in hearing about these products and my thoughts and how i use them then keep on watching now guys no good skin makeup can come on a day when your skin is not looking its absolute best right um it's always important to take care of your skin from the inside out so even your diet like the amount of water you drink in a day especially now that we're landing into summers अपनी पानी का इंटेक ज़्यादा करें आपको इंस्टेंटली अपनी स्किन के अंदर एक डिफरेंस नज़र आएगा वेदर यू आर ड्राई वेदर यू आर ऑयली इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट यू यूज़ अ मॉइस्चराइजर वन दैट सूट्स योर स्किन टाइप अगर आपकी स्किन ऑयली है तो क्लिनिक के बहुत अच्छे मॉइस्चराइजर मॉइस्चराइजर्स हैं दैट आर गेयर टूवर्ड्स ऑयली स्किन इफ़ यू आर समन हु इज़ मोर ड्राई दैन यू नीड समथिंग दैट इज़ मोर इमोलियन दैर इज स्ट्रॉगर मॉइस्चराइजर दैट विल लास्ट यू थ्रू आउट द डे एंड ऑनेस्टली यू गाइज आई also believe that exfoliating your skin is important so if you are someone who uses physical exfoliators which are your scrubs the gritty things that you use um try to use them at least twice a week also make sure that you don't rub them too hard into your skin because they can cause micro tears in your skin that you will not be able to see with the naked eye but the micro tears your micro scars you got they are they are little damaging to the skin over a period of time so make sure you're using a scrub that is from a good company that is meant to be used on the face and neck because normally hath or pair ke scrubs that are rather gritty or strong hote hain facial scrubs are much milder and i suggest you use it at least twice a week i personally don't like making all this extra effort i used to use physical exfoliators for a very long time but i have recently well not recently like for over a year i have moved more towards chemical exfoliators which are your acids your AHAs and your BHAs so glycolic acid lactic acid salicylic acid all of these right and all the products that i use um, skin care products that i use are from the ordinary which is a very affordable brand so if you're new into skin care and you're planning on trying something then i suggest you go with products from the ordinary because they're very affordable and they're great quality obviously you have to speak to a dermatologist first so don't just use these products by yourself like ask someone ask an expert um try to find the right product for your skin type sometimes it can be a bit of a journey discovering what works well for you because everyone's skin is different i have dry skin my friend can have dry skin but what works for me may not work for her so skin is very temperamental and everyone's is different and it works differently and it reacts differently to different products So just make sure that you are getting an expert's opinion on whatever skincare products you are choosing. But I do recommend that you drink a lot of water. You make sure you are well hydrated from the inside out. I recommend that you exfoliate your face and your neck, your skin at least 2 to 3 times a week. I use these physical exfoliators and I use them every night. And honestly, if you overdo it, you can also damage the top layer of your skin. but if you're careful about how you use these products you're good you're fine um another thing that is extremely important if you're exfoliating is using a sunscreen it is also extremely important to use a sunscreen even if you're not exfoliating so basically what i'm trying to say is you cannot skip sunscreen um the earlier you start using a sunscreen the better it is because honestly using a sunscreen is the best anti-aging thing you can do for your skin it prevents wrinkles it prevents melasma it prevents hyperpigmentation um it there, there is a lot that using a sunscreen a good sunscreen can do for you and your skin so i highly recommend you start using one if you don't already especially if you're using these chemical exfoliators you really have to follow up with sunscreen otherwise the damage that the sun will do to your skin after exfoliation is going to be much greater than whatever was happening to your skin before you started exfoliation why do i make everything sound so confusing
आई जस्ट मैंट कि जितना फ़ायदा आपको ये प्रोडक्ट्स यूज़ करने से होगा उससे ज़्यादा नुकसान आपको सूरज की किरणों से होगा जो आपके मुँह पर पड़ेंगी और अगर आपने सनस्क्रीन नहीं लगाया होगा तो आपकी स्किन को डैमेज करेंगे ऑल्सो रिमूविंग योर मेकअप दैट इज़ एक्सट्रीमली इम्पॉर्टेंट नेवर गो टू बैड विद योर मेकअप ऑन इवन इफ़ यू जस्ट यू डी कंसीलर इवन इफ़ यू जस्ट यूज ए ब्लश इवन इफ़ यू जस्ट यूज मस्कारा मेक श्योर यू रिमूव इट बाई द एंड ऑफ द डे मेक श्योर यू यूजिंग एन ऑयल बेस्ड रिमूवर टू फर्स्ट रियली ब्रेक डाउन द प्रोडक्ट गेट इट ऑफ योर स्किन एंड देन यूज वर एवर फेस वॉश यू लाइक टू यूज एंड देन मॉइस्चराइज योर स्किन बिफोर यू गो टू बैड दिस इज लाइक द बेर मिनिमम दैट यू शूड यू फॉर योर सेल्फ ऑल्सो इफ यू यूज्ड सनस्क्रीन ड्यूरिंग द डे यू हैव टू रिमूव दैट विद एन ऑयल बेस्ड रिमूवर एज वेल बिकॉज सनस्क्रीन्स एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द फाउंडेशन वी लाइक टू यूज आर वेरी देर हार्ड कोर स्टफ यू नो देर मेट टू स्टे ऑन यूर फेस फॉर लॉन्ग पीरियड्स ऑफ टाइम सो यू रियली नीड एन ऑयल बेस्ड रिमूवर टू ब्रेक दम डाउन एंड गेट दम ऑफ योर फेस आई होप दैट मेक सेंस नाउ दैट वी ब्रीफली टच अपॉन the skin care aspect of this if you want me to talk more about skin care maybe i can do that in a separate video where i actually show you products talk about my routine and just share my knowledge with you obviously i'm not an expert i'm not a dermatologist so if you are someone with some serious skin concerns you have to speak to a dermatologist or someone who can really help you out professionally um but if you're interested in a skin care video let me know i would be happy to film that for you now we're going to move towards the skin prep products right Now, if you guys are familiar with my videos, you know that I always start by using a mist on my face, and on days when I can't find a mist, I will spritz cold water out from the fridge onto my face before I start my makeup application. Now, two of my favorite mists these days are the Jasmine Dew Mist. This is from Primary Skin. It has hyaluronic acid, jasmine, uh, green tea, and aloe. Very refreshing. Smells amazing. not too pricey this i highly recommend i just spritz this over my face before i start into my makeup application another one that i really like is this clairs fundamental ampule mist again this has some really good nourishing ingredients what using a mist before you do your makeup does is it just freshens up your skin it sort of wakes it up it hydrates it and it's a good place to start before you uh, before you do your makeup right Now, once you've sprayed this mist on your face, you have to seal in the hydration using a moisturizer. One that I particularly really like is this one from Cosar X. This one is called Balancium. You can use whatever moisturizer you like. Um, another one, if you have um, eczema-prone skin, which I do, is Angentum. This is a very thick moisturizing cream, but it does work well under makeup for dry skin if you're eczema-prone. Um, other than that, I've also used Cetaphil on my face for years and years and years. So use whatever moisturizer works for you. If you're oily skin, use one that works for oily skin people. Just do make sure you moisturize your skin. Once you have sprayed your face with the mist and moisturized, you can move into your strobing cream. This is something that I like to do for dry skin people at least. A classic, of course, is the Max Strobe cream. Cannot go wrong with this. You can find this in most makeup artists' kit. Only downs downside to this is. It's a little pricey, um. So I found an alternate to this, and this is the Glow Cherry from L'Oreal. I have the shade Porcelain Glow. You guys, this does exactly the same thing as a strobe cream. It even has a similar texture. It leaves a similar kind of glow on your skin, and it is just an absolutely amazing product for the price. Another option that I can give you is from Nude Cosmetics, and this one is the Skin Perfecting Illuminator. This, you guys, again. very similar to the strobe cream very similar to the l'oreal glow cherry of course the l'oreal smells better but this only comes in one color it leaves sort of like a silverish sheen on your skin it's not very prominent and it looks very pretty once you layer your foundation on top of this but again this is the most affordable option out of the three that i've given you now on days when i want a really dewy complexion like i just want to look like i have glass skin i will go in with the bubblegum priming portion from Entice Cosmetics you guys Entice is a local brand i have a code with them shyam10 in case you want to place an order for this this primer is one of the best that i have found in the pakistani market i cannot explain to you how much i like this if you are someone with oilier skin um 
you might want to stay away from this especially during the summers because this can get a little too much but if you're someone with dry skin this product is going to be a godsend for you like it has been for me um this really is glass skin in a bottle and you only need one freaking drop you don't need more than this one drop covers your entire face and your neck so i mean it when i say little goes a long way now we will move into foundations some of my favorite foundations i have next to me and i'm going to share these with you i'm going to start with a local foundation brand just because i've been so impressed with this and you guys already know what i'm reaching towards this is the rithazen cosmetics lifelike foundation oh my god you guys if you have dry skin you have to try this it's a thick foundation when you squeeze it out of the pump but it doesn't go on in a thick goopy cakey way it sort of really melts into your skin especially if you've prepped your skin well beforehand it really melts into your skin it does give you that life like skin appearance you don't look like you're wearing a lot of makeup the only downside to this is the shades are kind of tricky to get right so i don't have one shade out of the six that they've launched that suits me perfectly so i normally mix shade 8 and shade 6 together to get my perfect match and i understand how if you're someone who hasn't been sent this foundation and if you're a regular consumer going out to buy it i can understand how using this getting the right shade might be tricky but honestly if this is a beautiful foundation for dry skin people they don't recommend this for oily skin people so if you are someone who's very oily stay away from this one it's um probably not going to stay on your face for too long especially during the summers another foundation that i love and i recommend this one whether you are dry or combo or leaning slightly towards the more oilier side is the nars natural radiant longwear foundation you guys this is a good medium to buildable coverage foundation i think this is more full coverage than most of the other foundation that i'm going to show you i use this when i want to look flawless this one is great for that and it works for most people it photographs really well it blends really easily honestly it's a very good all rounder so if you're looking for a good high end foundation and you're not particularly dry but you're not very oily this is really good this is i highly recommend this another foundation that really gives you that dewy complexion is the anastasia luminous foundation you guys i cannot tell you how much i was impressed with this i didn't think i would like this as much as i do it really is a luminous foundation i mean it stays on really well if you set it you get a good amount of i mean at least 6 to 8 hours of wear from this and it it looks natural but in a very healthy way it's not something that will make you look oily or or just goopy um it doesn't move around that much it's just it sits really well it covers it has a lot of coverage i would say this is a medium coverage foundation but you can really build it up to a full coverage if you like without it looking like a hot mess on your face and yeah i again this is another favorite i love this now another really pricey foundation that i enjoy is the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation this is just one of the most talked about foundations i think it's a cult favorite it's it's great i mean i cannot say enough good things about it but honestly i feel like nowadays there's so many other foundations that are either as good if not better than the giorgio armani luminous silk and kill me if you think i'm wrong but i don't know i feel like for the price i can go with a lot of other options that would give me a similar result to this one it might involve me mixing a few foundations together but this was really expensive especially buying it in pakistan this was really expensive and um although it's 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 a great foundation i'm not trying to discredit this i'm just saying you can get cheaper options that will give you a similar effect to this one another foundation that is a hot favorite these days is the dior forever skin glow this leaves such a beautiful luminosity across your face it's good coverage not really heavy but i mean if you're having a good skin day you could really get away with wearing just this It's a beautiful foundation. It sits really well on dry skin. It lasts a really long time, and you have so many shades that come in this. Honestly, like two W is my shade. It's um warm olive undertone works really well for me, and I just really enjoy using this foundation these days. Another foundation that is just an absolute favorite 
it's a makeup artist favorite across the world a lot of people also really enjoy this it's the makeup forever ultra hd whether you are dry whether you're oily whether you're combo this is foundation that is so versatile you just set it in different ways or prime your skin differently before applying this depending on your skin type and you can get a good wear out of this foundation it photographs brilliantly it is just absolutely beautiful finish and again it's one of my favorites it's one that has never disappointed me now another foundation that i really do enjoy that i don't know if i talk about enough is this matchbox studio skin foundation this is a 15 wear 15 hour wear hydrating foundation it's the sort of foundation that you have to set um that sort of sets into your skin so you have to like blend it out um before it sets but it's oil free and once it sets it's there like it will not batch for a long time. It photographs beautifully and it photographs well under all sorts of lighting conditions, which is amazing. So it's a great foundation to buy if you are a bride who is about to get married soon. Um, because obviously you're going to be attending a lot of dinners and you're going to be doing a lot of socializing in your sasral. So this is a good one because you know you can count on this to look good. They have another studio skin foundation that has come out, which comes in a tube that is for more oily to combo people. Um, I prefer using this one, especially because I'm more dry. That one would be a little too heavy for me. This one is perfect for my dry skin. So this is the one I recommend if you have dry skin as well. Another product that is insanely expensive and I honestly haven't yet found a great dupe for this to share with you guys yet, but this Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury, you guys, this is a mix between a glowy primer, a liquid highlighter, and a tinted moisturizer. If you could combine all these three products into one, you will get the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now, I don't recommend you go out and buy this because honestly, I don't know if I can justify the price on this, but if you are someone who takes on clients and you work on mature skin people, this product is worth investing in. Or if you are someone who has mature skin, or if you are someone who does makeup on your mom, or your halas, or your pupils, or ugh, you know, you get what I'm saying. Um, I recommend this product. Why? Because it is one of the most sophisticated, healthy glow out there. It is the sort of product that will add a luminosity, a freshness, um, without there being any specks of glitter or even shimmer for that matter. This is glow in a bottle. It's not shimmery. It's not glittery. It is undetectable once you really blend it in. It just looks like healthy skin. If you are not someone who is into this look, and I understand if you're not, because I know a lot of people in Pakistan prefer something that you can see that sort of reflects light a little bit more intensely, this product is not for you. But if you are someone who likes this, the skin looking real and healthy, I recommend this a lot. But it's very pricey. Of course, there are 50 other foundations that are really going through my head right now. Um, but honestly, you guys, these are like my top picks. Apart from this, honestly, even if you're someone who has dry skin, you can make most foundations work for you if you've prepped your skin well. Okay? Um, for example, this L'Oreal Infallible Up to 24 Hour Fresh Fair Foundation. This is my absolute favorite drugstore foundation. This gives serious competition to a lot of my high-end foundations as well and sometimes when i want to look good and I, I know i can't mess up my look this is the one i'm going to go for and not the other billion dollar foundation that i've shown you um this one is that reliable for me also this is a foundation that will look good even if you have combo skin even if you have oily skin it's just a matter of how you prepare your skin underneath and how you the kind of products you apply on top but honestly this is a really fantastic all-rounder if you want your skin to have that believable glossy glow it's important to realize that liquid and cream products are your friends if you are someone who does not have a lot of liquid cream products i do suggest you invest in them because honestly the, the way they melt into your skin even cream contour cream blush uh, cream highlighters nothing else does and the way they sort of make your skin just look its absolute best is something that powder products, at least in my opinion, do not achieve. So again, I'm going to share some of my favorite um, liquid highlighters and stuff. Just an overview. The Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector is the closest equivalent to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood filter. This is sort of like a highlightery version of this product. So again, it's not going to give you that kind of 
extremely um, potent shine that you can see from outer space. This will not do that. It's just going to make your skin look very expensive, um, very chic, and just very sophisticated. So this is that kind of a highlighter. If you are not in the budget to buy one of these, um, I would suggest you try a local affordable version of this, which is by Umbreach Cosmetics. They're selfie ready liquid highlighters. You guys, they are very similar to the Becca highlighters, obviously not as good, but they're a quarter of the price or maybe even less. And Amrit usually has a sale going on. If you want to check these out, these are great. They come in four shades. I have all four of them. Um, they're really, really nice and they stay on the skin quite well. And again, this is a very sophisticated highlight. So if you want something that is blending and something you can see from outer space, not for you. Another highlighter that I really, really enjoy is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. You guys, this is such a beautiful highlighter, but it's just... It's a little too intense to be worn during the daytime, in my opinion. Of course, my makeup preferences can be different from yours, so bear that in mind. This is really intense. This is liquid metal, honestly. Um, comes in a variety of shades. Choose one for your skin tone, but this is a very, very beautiful product. Um, and I do recommend this. A good alternative or a good deal for this would be the Makeup Revolution Liquid Highlighters. But in my opinion, these sort of disturb the foundation you have on underneath. So the way I use the Makeup Revolution liquid highlighters is to mix it in with my foundation, not on top of it. Just because I feel like this is more oily and it sort of removes the makeup I have on underneath. This one doesn't do that as much. So of course, the going to difference hoga between a very expensive and a very reasonable product. But honestly, like they're very similar in tones as well and also in the way they apply and the kind of shine they provide. Oh, I found another foundation. Where was this one hiding? <laughs> Do you mind if I cut in the highlighter and just talk about this for a bit? This is the Laura Mercier. Just wait for it. The Laura Mercier Flawless Lumi Radiance Perfecting Foundation. It has the longest name in the world. I don't even know what they were thinking when they were. I mean, they just wanted to include everything in the name. Um, but you guys, despite that, the foundation was actually pretty amazing. It's very similar to the Dior Skin Glow that I was talking about uh, in the sense that it actually is a glowy foundation. Um, it's one that will stay glowy even if you don't use a lot of these creamy highlighters and other things on top of it. So if you're in a rush to go out the door, this is one that I recommend if you want that glow glowy luminosity to your face. Moving back to highlighters now. Now, this is a limited edition highlighter, so I don't even know if it's okay that I'm talking about this. This is the Becca Glow Silk Highlighter Drops. Oh my god, you guys, nobody does glow the way Becca does. I bought these from a local page called Rose Sensation, Rose Dot Sensation on Instagram. I had been eyeing this for a while, but I was like, I have so many liquid highlighters, do I really need another one? This is different from all the other liquid highlighters I have. It is, it has the glow of the cover effects custom enhancer drops but the sophistication of the becca um shimmering skin perfectors i don't know if i'm making any sense to you but these highlighters are just so oh my god i have to show you i have to show you what i mean i'm just taking like a little bit when i say a little bit i really mean a little bit and i don't even know if the camera's gonna pick i have highlighter on already but what this does is just, I don't know, can you see, did it make a difference? Is the camera picking up on it? I literally use like half a drop. But this product, you guys, is just the most beautiful, um, not glitterly, glitterly, <laughs> wow. The shine this leaves on your skin is so beautiful. It's not glittery in any way. It's still very sophisticated, but it's so glass-like. And I mean, it sucks that this was limited edition because, I mean, I would have stopped up on this had I discovered it earlier. Okay, another highlighter that I don't know if I will repurchase, but I'm really enjoying it now that I have it. I don't know if I'm going to buy this again. It's the Patrick Ta, um, what is this called? Major Glow Highlighting Mist. You guys, it's a bit of a pain to use like you have to be a little bit careful because it does get in your hair it's a spray it's an aerosol spray so you just the kind of highlighter you spray on but again it, it does that thing where it just looks like second skin and because you're using a spray it sort of gets you know everywhere unless you block a certain area out it gives you a 
unanimous glow. Like it's not just get chested if this area is low and the rest of the face is matte. It sort of gets everywhere. So if you're into that kind of makeup look, um, try this out maybe. I don't know. It's fun. I like it. I have the We Need Her shade, which is the, the one with the gold pearl. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase this though. I'm on the fence about that. But now that I've got it, I do use it. I even use it on the chest area. Um, it's a very good, even, subtle glow across your decollete. I mean, it looks pretty nice. All right, moving to powder highlighters. You guys, that has to be a whole separate video, okay? So I'm not even going to go into all the different brands and because I have like two drawers, chock full of highlighters. Um, I can tell you though, like just touching on the basics here, that whenever you use a liquid highlighter, it's always good to apply a powder highlighter on top to really seal the deal, all right? So if you're looking for a local alternative to do that, invest in the Zay Beauty highlighters. They have a liquid, they have a cream highlight on one side, a powder on the other side, and they are just the most beautiful formulas, the cream as well as the powder, and I can't rave about them enough. So if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to all these products, just get the Zay Beauty highlighters. As far as powders go, now I do understand that everyone needs to powder. Even if you have dry skin, it's important that you set your makeup, right? Your concealer, your everything that you've done. Now, if you're someone with an oilier skin type, then of course you can do the whole baking thing and it's going to work for you because over a period of time, the oils from your skin are going to sort of break through the makeup and it's going to give you that natural glow that we dry skin people work so hard to achieve. Um, but for dry skin people, some powders that I really recommend are... Well, my most favorite happens to be the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. I use the shade 01, even though it's way lighter for me, just because I use it on the center of my face. I don't use this powder everywhere. I wouldn't even if I could because it's so expensive. I'm so scared that I'm going to run out on this and I'm going to have to repurchase this and then I'm just going to be broke. <laughs> now I'm exaggerating, but it is a very pricey product. Another really good powder is the By Terry um, Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. Now this comes in a variety of shades. I just did the chicken thing and I got the translucent one because I was like, this will all go um, And it's an extremely good product if you have dry skin or if you're someone who is more mature or if you're someone who has a lot of wrinkles under your eyes or it's just the kind of powder that sort of sets your makeup, gives you this airbrushed look and it doesn't make you dry it doesn't make you look dry or it doesn't completely eliminate the glow that you have from all the products that you've used before this laura mercier um this is the secret brightening powder it's specifically designed to be used on the eyes but even the bigger tub that i have laura mercier does really good translucent powders a local product that i've really been enjoying is the cryola translucent powder so i use just the tiniest bit of this and i feel like it does a really good job at sort of blurring my pores, it keeps my makeup stay, staying put and it doesn't make me look too drying. So I use the shade TL11. This is also a really, really good one. But the local product that I found that is not as good as all the rest, but I mean, it comes pretty darn close, is Note, Note Cosmetics Luminous Silk Compact Powder. If you're someone who has oily skin, this is not going to do much for you. It's not going to control the oil for too long. You need something a little more stronger um i'm gonna say go with the Rimmel stay matte powders if you're someone with oily skin i love those for their drugstore they're very affordable but they're so good to control oil um this is more geared towards dry skin people so it's again it's one of those products that blur your pores that set your makeup but that don't it doesn't make you look dry or cakey or you know it doesn't give make your skin look dead you know what i mean it's just such a good product and for the price it's incredible so you guys these are some of my favorite products to use on almost anyone really um some of them are more expensive than others but i tried to sort of balance it out and give you like good affordable options in between as well if you want me to do like a dedicated video on any one specific category so for example if you want me to talk about just highlighters I could do that for you if you want me to talk about just powders or all the bronzes that I have in my collection. I could absolutely do that, but just let me know in the comments below. The idea is basically that you understand the importance of skincare and skin prep before your foundation. I have mentioned some foundations that are my favorites, but honestly, you guys, and I mean it when I say this, you can use a really, really matte foundation and still get a more dewy look out of it. Just mix in a little bit of an oil. Um, just prep your skin really well underneath. Just use 
something like the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus on top. There are a lot of ways to make any kind of foundation work for you in the way that you want it to. You could use a foundation like the Dior Skin Glow and get a more matte result out of it depending on how you powder and the products that you use underneath. So it's really a matter of understanding what product goes with the other and what techniques you can use to really make products work in different ways. So basically you can achieve any look that you want out of the products you already have at home. You don't necessarily need most of this. But in general, I do recommend you buying a good powder because I feel like powders really make a huge difference. You can have the best skin makeup on your face and then use the wrong powder or a powder in the wrong way and just completely ruin it. But overall, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. I hope all of you are staying home and staying safe. And I hope you all take out the time to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hello. <laughs> Ring the notification bell. And come hang out with me in my next video, which will hopefully be very soon. So take care, you guys. Love you. Bye.